Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. So we recently discovered the exterior of the Fiat 124. Let's check the interior. Yes, there's a lot of parts that will probably remind you another car. Can you guess what it is? Feel free to comment that in the section down there below. But hey, let's go check that interior. Alright, let's open the door of the Fiat 124 long door and you can see the build quality also inside and you, you will also remark that it's much more sober than its cousin version out there. So for the material in the door, well, nice and soft around here, nice and soft leather also back there. The handle, well, the handle is, handle is kind of the, in the way of the command that you have right here. Also, have you noticed when you open or close, you will see that little movement of the window going to be perfect to protect and also to reduce the impact on the roof when you're going to be closing the car and yes oh the seat is so low I have to show you that so look at that look at those nice seat uh, this is yes and if you're wondering what's the little hole in there it's because you have a speaker inside and you've got also that Bose option sound system right now that is coming with our package so nice seat but a lot of manual adjustment but look how low it is you have to really sit inside the car. And also look at that, the center console a little bit high and some comment might get in your way. So let's take place back inside the car. Ooh. And it's always a challenge for tall guys like me to, to do that. But once you're inside, oh, I swear, I, I didn't want to tell the word, but I'm gonna have to do it. It looks like a master. <laughs> you know, the Fiat is sharing his chassis with, with that cousin and every place inside. No, no. Well, it's a Fiat logo. Okay, but right now, I really think I'm in a Mazda. Well, do you prefer the cluster gauge of the Mazda or the Fiat? Feel free to comment in the section down there below. So let's turn on the lights that are, well, right here. So it's already turned on, same thing for fog lights also. And if you want to adjust your steering wheel, well, it's gonna be down there, you have to pull that handle. So the steering wheel, by the way, nice. I love the grip that I have with it. This is kind of cool. So right here on the left, you, you've got traction control, blind spot monitor. If you close it, you will get that indication up here. Same thing also for traction control and the possibility to reset your TPMS. The, the buttons on the steering wheel are quite nice, really accessible. So if you want to raise the volume, no problem. And you've got that Bose sound system, which is really not that bad when you're going to be rolling and that speaker just behind your head is kind of cool. So let's press on the voice command. Say a command. Uh, help. That item cannot be selected. Next command. Help. Available commands are entertainment, communication, Navigation, settings. Entertainment. It's gonna bring me in that menu, so let's try. Say a command. Help. Available commands are ah. entertain. Channel 51. Even that system can understand the GSP from car questions. So let's raise the volume. Not too bad. As I said, it's not a bad sound system, but you need to pull back some bass. So uh, nice and clear. I love how we're focusing on the revolution per minute, the speed dial right there on the side, all the commands about uh, your voice recognition system. And also if you press there, you will access your phone menu 
and once again the info that you will be able to change around here is right there in that dial so it's going to be for range average fuel consumption current and the average speed that you have right there it's all about cruise control you have no paddle shift because we've got a manual let's please save the manual so right now this is a seven inch screen uh you have easy access to it this screen is tactile but once you're going to be rolling with the car guess what you won't be able to get to the tactile interface so it will not be working so it's simply turning off when the car starts to roll so right there a nice piano black accent nice finish uh, everywhere and if you move a little bit down there you will get the button that uh, you need to access to use with the multimedia system so the volume is right there but hey by the way I did really a complete video about that system for Mazda but it's the same so please go take a look at it press on the high if you're on a mobile phone to go check that out and if you're on a computer on a PC well click right there in the square and you will be able to see that video if not well if you're on a console or something else feel free to check the channel you will find that also really easily climatization control really easy you've got an auto mode you've got the nice big well finish button easy once again to access whatever you want so you've got also it did see that are hitting just right here and you will have also your usb connector and your card for navigation right down there and also the key look at that this is a key off i nearly said the word i cannot hold it this is a mazda key no it's a fiat key <laughs> so you've got the logo of Fiat right here so it's really hard not to compare the boat car so right there the nice uh, shifter short course easy if you want to go to reverse you just press and move back and it's going to be a beep and you will see your rear view camera that will give you a display of what's going on in the back and also the sensor going to give you another bull warning of what's going on in the back so nice handbrake you've got also everything that you need to access uh, your multimedia system and what's that a cup holder right in the way of my passenger mm, okay uh, ah there you go you can remove them but if you want to place them somewhere else well you can insert them right here so not too bad but can you insert them in that way I have not tried it no it won't go in but if you insert them in that way as you will see your drinks are going to be in the rear so get be careful because boom there you go you got a major spill going on ah anyway glove box non-existent oh that's kind of sad so if we move it a bit up there well you've got your rear view mirror that will uh, also have all the link command on it and yes this is a really important part right here let's do a focus there we go uh, this is for opening your top so you just press there you just pull that and you push really with one finger hey it's so easy and there goes the top boom so uh, what the thing you need to be careful though if you're bringing it back be careful if it's closed like that you don't want to get too fast because it's gonna hurt you need to pull back the hook and attach and pull so take time take some practice but it's not gonna be long you've got also that deflector right back here and the top that has just folded down it's kind of plastic for the sun visor and way plastic also for the driver around here so it's kind of sad for this part so now that you have cool glasses that you need to put on where do you put them what there's no places for your cool sunglasses that's kind of bad maybe here hmm too small maybe in the back here too small once again even if you're letting your cup holders in there so as we will see also there's some place for your CD player right under here so let's open the trunk and let's go check the trunk button is right here and the hood button is right there so let's go with the trunk first and by the way for the gas cap you just press and it's gonna open regular standard for the trunk not too bad also i must say that i'm not a fan of this finish right here and as you can see it's kind of moving so I can't wait to see what it's going to do over time. So you've got not too big storage space in the rear. Maybe your golf bag won't even fit in. That's kind of sad. Let's move to the front. And let's open the hood. 
1.4 liter turbo, which is going to be good for 160 horsepower. You will see that in action in another video about the Fiat 124 uh, radio washer fluid. If you want to check oil, well, right there, it's not a problem. Battery, same thing also. And as you can see, seems like easy maintenance. Yes, you can have a full look of the turbo, which is right here. And then when you look up, you've got that sound deepening materials and you've got also that heat material there. So because probably the turbo is going to be hot and you've got also that f air filter, radiator, and also intercooler, which is down there. So how do you like the interior of the Fiat 124? So what do you think? How do you like the interior of the Fiat 124? Do you prefer this interior or its concurrent interior? This is a good question. Feel free to comment in the section down there below. And do not forget, if you like this video, do a thumbs up. And don't forget also to subscribe to Car Question because we're going to have more Fiat video for you. Take care.